was 17 years old. I had just graduated from high school and I was looking forward to college and my 18th birthday. This was the summer that my mom did not receive well the news of my pregnancy, demanding me to have an abortion. My mother quickly decided on a course of action. She contacted a clinic in Wichita, Kansas, and got them to schedule an abortion for me for the next week. No amount, no amount of tears changed my mother's mind or touched her heart. The trip to the clinic was filled with pleading and begging. Arriving at the clinic, my mother signed the paperwork handed to her. As we waited, I tried one last time to sway her, pleading with her, please mom, please, please don't make me do this. My name was called and I was led down a small to a small offway, office halfway down a long hallway. The lady asked me if I had any questions. As the last word entered her mouth, I was on my feet, running down the hallway, throwing open the big wide double doors, still pleading, still begging for mercy. I fell to my knees sobbing. It was then that I felt my arms being pulled and I was dragged down that long white corridor to a room where my baby was sucked out. This was the nightmare for the next 30 years, constantly waking up to the pain, the void, the anger, the depression, the loneliness, and the self-destructive impulses I experienced every day. I was convinced that everything else that went wrong in my life was a punishment for having aborted my baby. This continued until my priest spoke to me one day about Rachel's Vineyard. Three le weeks later, I attended Rachel's Vineyard and my healing began that weekend. A journey I continue to make every, even now as I lay my nightmare at the foot of the cross each and every day, trusting in God's mercy and, and the sure knowing that I am forgiven. And I live in the certainty that Christ bore my sins upon that cross and died for me so that I could know his peace and love and be silent no more.